Well, I think we ought to celebrate a little more dissent. I think when people in the Fed vote their mind and their conscience, that's a good thing. I think Chair Yellen did the right thing by keeping interest rates where they were and standing pat. Look, you raise interest rates when the economy is growing too fast or inflation's coming. And frankly, we could use a little more of both growth and inflation. But having a couple dissents, uh, to me, is a good thing. Look, monetary policy choices are hard. This, this isn't necessarily clear cut. So I wouldn't read too much into that. And George, do you think that uh, the Fed either missed an opportunity or needs to, to kind of get on with something? Or are they OK in, uh, in sort of keeping things where they are for a while? I actually agree with Aaron. Uh, the, uh, the Fed can only raise interest rates successfully if, uh, if the markets are ready for it. And uh, uh, if it doesn't cause a contraction, which raising rates prematurely could do. Right now, the numbers just don't seem to warrant the Fed tightening. And, uh, and if it tightens uh, too much, the end will be uh, a more sluggish recovery even than what we have now. Look, isn't that a chicken and egg scenario? The markets have to be ready for the Fed, so the Fed has to jawbone. When the Fed's been jawboning and, and crying wolf, some people think the market doesn't believe it when they jawbone. So at some point, you just got to yank the rug out from under them and raise rates. Uh, I mean, Volcker didn't think that you needed to have the markets ready to go. Well, remember, Volcker was uh, raising rates at a time when inflation was very high. Now we have a situation where uh, inflation and spending are both low. And raising uh, rates prematurely in this situation could mean they go even lower, which will end up putting downward pressure again on market rates. So there's a difference between the rate the Fed controls, which it could raise, but which uh, also means tightening, and what happens with other market rates. And that depends on the current state of the economy. There are better things the Fed could do to get rates ultimately to go up. Yeah, and I am a little concerned about the Fed and the market. It feels to me like an, a bad episode of Charlie Brown, where the Fed keeps talking about <laughs> raising rates like Lucy, putting Lucy. out the football, and Charlie Brown comes to kick it and yanks it away. So I think the Fed does need to be a little more consistent and stop threatening that the next rate is always going to be at the next, the next hike is always going to be at the next meeting. But Aaron, you know, you, I, everyone here, we focus on that next move and when it might be uh, exactly. And it seems like it's been deferred a few times. But maybe the bigger picture here, you know, the Fed lowered its longer term outlook for what economic potential growth could be. And therefore, how far it has to even go in raising rates uh, for the next couple of years. So isn't the conclusion that the Fed thinks, look, there's really not that much of a hurry to get to some place uh, that maybe isn't that much different than where we are right now. No, the big news and the big change over the last year hasn't been the Fed funds rate, which has barely moved at all, but the decrease in the natural rate of interest. The Fed's long-term projection of the natural rate of interest is, you know, almost half of what it used to be. Uh, and that's a real change, and that, 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 that plays through both the path of the Fed in the future and also the economy. Uh, you know, it seems as if the Fed thinks that our potential to grow is smaller now than it was five or ten years ago, and that's far more troubling. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.